so uh, let us discuss this uh, uh, how to prepare and how to crack uh, neat ss uh, as all of us know uh, the neat ss uh, exam is uh, at the end of uh, next month and uh, all of us have like you guys have uh, uh, around 30 35 days to uh, prepare for a neat ss exam uh, i'm sure uh, most of you have been preparing from last couple of weeks uh, I'm going to discuss a few important things, uh, how to uh, uh, organize your uh, uh, NEAT SS preparation. And then at the end, we'll have a question and answer session. So if you have any uh, questions related to uh, how to improve your preparation strategy, you know, you can always ask me. So seven steps to crack NEAT SS uh, exam, uh, which is going to happen in uh, March 2025. The first step, uh, you begin with uh, assessing your uh, current preparation. All of you have to take a moment to assess your uh, current preparation. Where do you stand uh, with respect to the NEAT SS preparation? You have to ask yourself, have you completed the syllabus? How many MCQs you have been able to solve so far? Uh, but if you are lagging behind, so don't worry. Okay, so. Uh, many of uh, you may be uh, working as a SR or might have just finished your uh, uh, theory exam uh, uh, and then uh, you may not be getting time. So in that case, you don't have to panic. You still have 30-35 uh, uh, days to uh, streamline your preparation. Uh, I know many people, uh, including myself, uh, when uh, we have cracked uh, the uh, MCH uh, entrance exam when we were uh, working. So if your preparation is not, uh, not organized so far, you don't have to panic. Uh, just believe in yourself. Uh, just have a good strategy. Uh, just you need to have some discipline for next 30, 35 days. Then I'm sure you will be able to uh, crack this uh, exam very easily. If you have already covered the syllabus, for example, you have you recently passed your uh, 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 MS theory exam, then uh, you have to shift your uh, focus towards uh, revising the books and then uh, you also have to uh, start solving MCQs. We need to remember that the NEAT SS exam is all about having right concepts and how to apply your knowledge. All of you have read books, many of you have watched our videos. But what is important is, are you able to apply those concepts or apply what is written in the textbook when they ask the questions? So you have to focus on practical application of the knowledge you have. So let us break down these into next steps. You have to have a daily study plan. So that is very important. Since you are just like four or five months away from NEAT SS exam, you have to study at least 10 to 12 hours per day, starting from today. If you are already working, like if you are an SR, then try to take a break or you have to switch your to yourself to a, a more relaxed role. For example, when, uh, when we were in uh, PGI Chandigarh, so when the exams were near, we used to ask uh, for uh, emergency or trauma posting because it was a little bit like you had 12 hour shift and it was uh, it, you, you used to get some time to study. If you are working uh, in some some unit like uh, if you are working in GI surgery or in uh, urology, you may not get time to study so much. If you can afford to quit a job, uh, then it is great. But if you are not able to quit a job because uh, uh, you, you, you have a family to look after or maybe you may not be uh, financially very stable. In that case, uh, you have to continue doing your job, but then you make an attempt to uh, study uh, like six to uh, seven hours a day, but you have to be very regular. And if you are determined, I am pretty sure that by working, by studying six to seven hours and then working, you will be able to crack NEAT SS exam. Just uh, a sample schedule, uh, if you are uh, work, like studying 10 to 12 hours a day, morning three hours, you have to revise the high yield topics like GI surgery, 
breast endocrine surgery then two hours in the midday tried to solve 100 mcqs uh, from a standard question bank in uh, our app diginow app uh, and in our course uh, uh, we have uh, put across all the important uh, mcqs concept based from standard textbooks like bailey and love and sebiston you can solve at least 100 questions uh, in two hours easily and then in afternoon two hours you have to focus on weaker areas like you feel if you are not good in cardiac surgery or thoracic surgery or uh, uh, vascular surgery then in that case you focus on your weaker areas uh, uh, where you don't feel confident then you watch our video lectures for further clarification again 3 hours in the evening revise another set of high yield topics and solve another 100 mcqs and then in the night just before going sleep going to sleep then you watch video lectures or uh, review notes it's very important to make notes when you are uh, preparing for neat ss exam either uh, you go through the notes or many of you will be be tired so you may not be able to read in that case you can just quickly watch couple of important videos from our app so that uh, it's easier to uh, grasp uh, videos in the night time just before going to sleep rather than reading by having such kind of sample schedule you will be able to cover the theory and you will be able to practice every day the key for neat ss success is you should be able to solve mcqs quickly during the examination so practice of solving mcqs is very very important if you are preparing for neat ss you have to master the mcq cycle one of the crucial aspect of neat ss preparation is solving mcqs on daily basis and solve as much as mcqs possible uh, i have spoken to couple of uh, neat ss uh, uh, toppers and uh, they recommend solving around 9000 mcqs when you are preparing for neat ss that means like in our app we have around 3000 questions so you have to revise all the questions three times so it is 9000 mcqs and then when you are solving it for the first time you may need more time but when you are solving it for the second time or when you are solving it for the third time then you will be much faster to uh, solve those questions when you do the first round you solve the mcqs topic wise to build a strong foundation when you do a second round you solve them again but during this time during the second round you focus on speed and accuracy and when you do the third round you revise the toughest questions and you ensure that you have mastered the concept so this is how you master the mcqs if you are short of time for example now we have just 30 35 days if you are short of time you aim for at least 50 to 75 mcqs daily but don't compromise on quality but all of us know like people all of us we have given uh, the entrance examination we know that repetition is the key and remember that though most of these mcqs will be taken from standard textbooks like bailey and love or sebiston or swards it's very very difficult to remember uh, those lines from textbooks when you are solving the mcqs during the examination it's like you may know around like half of the questions you may remember half of the theory part from the textbook and you will be able to solve it but rest of the questions uh you should be able to like i would say you if you practice mcqs continuously then you will have a sixth sense and then when you look at the question you will be able to eliminate two answers they are absolutely wrong then you have another two options you are confused between two options and then with with uh, uh, a sixth sense or you will be able to guess what is the right answer you don't have to guess everything but i am sure there will be some difficult questions difficult mcqs even if you are not read but if you know the concepts if you don't remember the exact lines from the textbook but if you know the concepts then you will be able to answer those questions very easily so the revision is the key when you are preparing for neat ss we have to optimize our time 
time management is critical as all of us know you have 150 questions and then uh, you have two and a half hours to solve those questions this was the last year pattern uh, we hope that the same pattern is going to continue uh, this year also if you are spending if you are working in a metro and if you are uh, spending lot of time commuting if you are driving your car then you better switch to public transport or take a cab and during that time you can solve mcqs or you can watch video lectures it's very difficult to read textbook when you are commuting in that case you solve the mcq or you uh, watch the video lectures and that's how uh, you can use this commuting time for uh, preparing uh, neat essays your core study hours are reserved for reading textbook and watching difficult video lectures other thing we need to know that you have to limit video lectures for one and half hours a day preferably watch them at the night when you are too tired you are not able to read but you can watch these videos if you look at a textbook you you will see lot of uh, uh, chapters in the book and it's difficult to go through everything especially when the exams are near so you have to focus on high yield topics because every topic is not given a equal weightage when a examiner is setting a neat ss question paper so we have to focus on high yield areas and which are these high yield areas like gi surgery breast and endocrine surgery trauma and critical care surgical oncology minimally invasive surgery so these are the high yield areas which you have to focus more coming to how do you prepare for gi surgery all of you have to read bailey and lowe textbook inside out in our uh, course that is regenerative uh, surgery ms course uh, we have covered all these topics and then we have referred to bailey and lowe and sabiston the latest edition of bailey and lowe and sabiston so if you go through our videos you will hear all the recent theory from bailey and lowe and sabiston with respect to gi surgery coming back to gi surgery again you have to read bailey and lowe and then you have to read sabiston if you are not able to read sabiston completely you have to go through the important tables important flow charts and all these things it's already there in our video lectures for breast and endocrine again bailey and lowe and you have to go through squats we have a separate module on endocrine surgery and uh, we have a separate module on breast dr madhu narayan who is a leading onco surgeon from hyderabad has covered breast uh, in detail so if you watch these modules on breast and endocrine surgery and then you go back and read squats and bailey and lowe you will be thorough with uh, breast and endocrine surgery trauma and critical care are very very important also in your practice there will be good number of questions from trauma we have a separate in our uh, course surgery ms course we have a separate module on trauma and we have covered every aspect of trauma uh, watch our videos and also go through bailey and lowe and if you have time go through the recent atls guidelines surgical oncology again bailey and love is enough and then you watch our lectures for minimal invasive surgery bailey and love is enough if you have time you read sabiston and also watch our lectures make sure you are thorough with these topics because lot of the mcqs will be coming from these high yield areas you have to stay consistent and motivated when exam comes near we feel demotivated we we feel that lot of topics are still not covered or i don't remember or i don't understand this subject or this topic just stay focused stay motivated and consistency is the key for the success even you miss a day you have like for example uh, one day you get very busy lot of emergency work or something comes unexpected Uh, you are not able to study on that day in the night you suddenly feel stressed out like whole day is gone and i have not any, done anything today i have not read anything today don't get discouraged okay you start focusing on the next day and then 
study well and uh, have a positive energy around yourself have good friends discuss with them and always feel positive stay motivated there are a lot of people who have cracked neat ss and there will be a lot of people who will continue to crack neat ss while balancing job and family responsibilities i have done it my colleagues have done it my seniors have done it and i am i am pretty sure you all will be able to do it coming to the mock test and analysis recently we conducted a mock test i am sure all of you have given that mock test and then once you solve it you get a analysis which are your stronger areas and which are your weaker areas when you come very near to neat ss exam like final two weeks you start taking full length mock test you have to complete five to six mock test before you appear for the neat ss exam analyze your performance and whenever you feel that this area you are weak you work on them go and watch videos or read more about that or solve more mcqs mock test will help you to build stamina you don't give this test every day like two and half hour exam of 150 questions so you need to have a stamina like if i ask you to run 10 km on day 1 you will not be able to run that much so you have to slowly build your stamina similarly to solve 150 mcqs in 2 and half hours you have to build stamina you have to improve your time management skills i am sure most of you have given neat pg and after that now you are going giving neat ss for maybe 2 3 years you are not given much uh, like such a nt exam so you have to build your stamina you have to have a good time management skills and the people who have stamina and who have time management skills will do extremely well in the neat ss exam remember that next 30 35 days are going to be intense but with dedication and with hard work you can achieve your dream rank 